came in here, she uh, just barged into the theater and, and told us all what to do all of the time. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. She's put a lot of effort, a lot of work into this, and uh, and and I hope that uh, that you get uh, the story. Anyway, enjoy. start to understand who I am and why I am. This girl, here, she is me, or rather what I once was. Together with others sitting and listening by a stream. All right, ladies. Be careful dangling your feet in the water. You don't want to lose your flip-flops. So, what did we learn from today's Bible study? Uh, yes? Well, before I run to camera, before I run to camera, I'm thinking of the question I had in me. Very good. <laughs> oh, yes, Carly. Uh, 
Eve were naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but naked, yeah. Yes, you, you know what? Um, that wasn't the point. Okay, yes, Carly, keep to the point. My flip-flop dropped in the creek. <laughs> oh, no. Good job, Carly. Are you serious? Let me get it. Goodness gracious, Carly. Where'd it go? I think so. Oh, oh, man. Oh, okay. Here you go. Don't drop it again, please. Okay. Hey, girl, did you know that if you fart on wood, like this bridge, it makes it vibrate? Watch. <laughs> show. I haven't made any decisions at all. How about, how about you go wait backstage or wherever you came from and I'll get you when I'm finished deciding? Okay, okay. churning in the stomach, being able to leave yourself behind, to pour out an emotion, a character, into a song that you are performing, blood pulsing, heart racing, the heat of the, your, the lights glistening on your skin. Deep breath in, and then it begins. Telling me not to perform is like taking a huge, beautiful pane of stained glass and then grabbing a baseball bat and just shattering it. It's what I yearn to do, but 
don't know what I really want to do with my life. All I know is I'm not the type of person to conform. I, I need to be free. I need my soul to be free. That's for sure. I don't want to go along with the crowd. Don't want to live life under a cloud. Give me some air and space in the sun on my face. I want to live out loud. Don't want to be alone in the crowd. Don't want to seem peculiar and proud. I need to be as free as I know how to be. I want to live out loud. Every day, sleep, walk, walk, step. No one dares to stray. Though they may, straight laced, shame faced, long to break away. Fair, cause lonely as can be. Is that what they want from me? I don't want to go along with the crowd. Don't want to live life under a cloud. Give me some air and space in the sun. Shoreline. I want to join in the moonlit dance. I want to turn the branches of a tree. I want to bathe in a hidden inlet and let the breeze come and dry my hair. I want the life they took away from me. And if that makes me headstrong, fine. That's a fault. I'm glad it's mine. I don't want to go along with the crowd. Don't want my spirits broken and bowed. Why do I have shake my life like it. And maybe, maybe, maybe this. <laughs> Thanks, mysterious spaceman. <laughs> Gotta love those guys. <laughs> oh. So thanks, Josiah. What's this for? For you to announce that you're becoming a lighting designer. What? <laughs> oh, no, no, I never agreed to that. <laughs> I mean, just because I know how to design lights and 
and, and do it doesn't mean that's what I want to do with my life. Can you just go and wait backstage for a little bit? I need some time to decide. You mean with that creepy guy in the mask and the suit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the phantom. He seemed harmless, and I think he needs a few friends. Great. Now I have Josiah and the Phantom waiting for my decision. I can't do it all. Why do people think <clears throat> I can't do it all? Oh, goodness, the pressure is building. Yes, I can sing. Yes, I can act. Yes, I can design lights and run them. Great. But is that what I want to do with the rest of my life? I know one thing. I want to be able to serve others. I want to be able to take something I love and share it with the world and, and just people across it. I need a moment. Let me think about this. day. At least I know I'm not alone. As my techie friends would say, I am a Jesus person. Now, I'm not religious, or at least I don't think of it as that. Following a religion is like following a set of rules. I follow something that frees my heart, not confines it. My belief in having a relationship with Christ frees my heart and soul, and don't worry, I'm not some crazy maniac who is judgmental and forces beliefs upon others. Did someone say crazy and judgmental? Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm a real Christian. You must go to church. What? <laughs> Whoa, hold on there. That is, that is definitely not the type of person Christ wants you to be. And um, he does not say to go around and judge others. Who cares about how many copies of the Holy Bible you have. There you go. How about, you know, Jesus stands for freedom, for justice, for love, forgiveness. It's sad that you think that way, my stereotypical Jesus Christian person. <laughs> go backstage and read a little bit more of what the Lord has to say. <laughs> Slightly off the handle. Well, Here's something that I have learned from Christ, and that is of love. How to have pure and righteous love. People can make their own choices as to what they want to do with their life. No matter what, I promise I'll try to love all, no matter the circumstances. That is what I want to be rooted in. It's love. I'm not forcing anything upon you guys, and I will let every but I will let everyone know that I have found 
found the true joy in life through my faith. I am a person. I'm not great anyway, nor better than anyone else. Do I get frustrated? Yes. Do I get angry? Yes. Talk to my family. Sometimes I scream with my friends. I am just a person like any one of you. I am unworthy of the talents and skills that I've been blessed with, singing, acting, and whatnot. And I also feel undeserving of the amazing friends and classmates that I have here at the school. You guys are really great. I love this school and its people. This place, ACMA, it, it isn't perfect, but it's still wonderful. It's a wonderful place to have gone to school for the past seven years. Now there's a topic. Perfection. Well, it's hard to comprehend and even more impossible to achieve. Everyone has their own definition of it. I am far from perfect, yet I strive to achieve perfection. Not in the eyes of men, but in the eyes of God. Through grace and love, I have been forgiven of all the crap and sin in my life. It's amazing in my eyes. People may say, oh, but Carly, you're kind. No, that's Christ in me. Others may say, you have talent. No, I see it as a blessing that I've been given. All the good that comes, that all the good in me comes from what I have decided to root myself in. humility. Now, be humble about things. I pray and hope that you all start to put others in front of yourself, too. I want you, my friends, to challenge yourself. You don't have to be spiritual, nor believe in anything in particular, but I want you to try and make this world not about you, but about giving back to those around you. I guess you can say that is what theater has taught to invest, connect, and to give back to an audience. So, humble yourself, my friends. Try even for a day, putting others first and giving back to your community with good intention. I love theater and I, I can't believe how much I have grown with it. But there comes a time to decide, do I follow a path of performance? Well, after many weeks of prayer, I have realized that performing is not what I want to do with the rest of my life. I have a passion for it, yes, but there's no desire behind that passion that pushes me forward to the end. So now, I commit this last song to my love of theater. Actually, this isn't my last song. This next song to my love of theater. It is a sad but beautiful piece, for there was once a dream in my life, a dream about being a performer, moving the audience, and here now is one of the last times that I, Carly Ann Schick, shall be performing in front of her. I may not give up performance completely, but it will be a great many years before I will be able to get back on the stage again. And the love I'm referring to in this song is going to be the love of theater. So I hope you enjoy.
times mm, going away. Can I help you? No.
through shadows falling, out of memory in time. Don't say we have come now to the end. Quite short of
about life without